Hi friends, it's Shanna, Shop Glorious Day, and I guess it's just an evening to enjoy uh, the light and the playfulness with the light. And um, I have a wonder space behind me that I have been waiting to uh, bring you into that I know uh, will captivate you as well. I'm actually starting out right here in uh, the tent of Beth uh, of the Dirty Bohemian which I had mentioned in another video. She's at Marburger as well, and we're gonna pay her a visit there. But I wanted to, um, I guess just start here for fun. She's also has a, a year round shop in Round Top that maybe we can visit as well. So I'll give you a spin here, then we'll go back and meet Tony, and he's gonna tell us about uh, the magic that he makes. So, We'll start with the, uh, look at this, so fun. The magic of just wandering in the evening. You can hear the music in the background. So we're gonna go over and see Tony and his beautiful, inspiring tent. And his business is Rust in Peace. So I'm gonna weave my way <laughs> fly my way in to see you Tony I'm so happy to be doing this with you thank you yes so tell the folks about your business thank you rest in peace uh, all things repurposed yeah old things old things old things gotcha yeah like where shall we start the it's, table it's rust not because I put um, uh, some kind of acid on it or something, but right. it's actual rust because it's old. Yeah, the real condition <laughs> before, of it. Before I start with it, yep. um, old barn roofing. Wow. Um, and uh, so I table. take said old barn roofing and mm -hmm. uh, make tabletops out of it and mirrors and uh, Yeah, let's take a look. Things. Um, look at that. And these mirrors are fabulous. Thank you. So you actually weld them or they're well, they're not welded. They're not welded. No. Okay. I build a frame out yep. of wood okay. and I take the old tin yep. and cut it up and stretch it across it and yep. start poking holes in it and yeah. uh, and fasten it down to the to the wood base and it makes a I love the character. Yeah. Today. Oh, yeah. They're I, great. That's the best part. Look at this. I do seal it when yeah. I'm done. Yep. Um, but other than that, it yeah. is what it is. So I remember last year actually coming in, and this caught my eye. I was here for Junk Gypsy Prom, yes. and your tent caught my eye. Tell us about these. Well, they're old. They're vintage globes. Yeah. Um, and I buy globes everywhere that I go. Yeah. Um, antique stores. Uh, estate sales sometime once in a while i luck out and find one at a yard sale or a thrift store okay but, yeah um, and then i cut them up and turn them into pendant lights and uh, it's one of my favorite things and, and they're been, they're I've all different ages or years. they are all different ages but okay. most of yeah. them you'll see are still have ussr or soviet union right once in a while i have one that that actually is Russia, so yeah. that one would be newer. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people that buy these are buying them based on the colors. Right. Because they and want the something effect. that's going to yeah. work in their room. Yeah. I did do an install at a coffee shop in Lexington, Kentucky. Okay. Of one big fixture. Wow. And we actually used 18 <gasps> globes in the fixture. It's in the center of the restaurant. It's kind of the centerpiece. Oh, and, I um, bet. It's amazing. It's, it's an eye catcher. Even uh, this effect here, like, sure. wow. And I love them hung at different levels, yeah. different sizes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, my supply is a little low, the right. show, because yeah. I can yeah. get really hard. But yeah. I love them when the 16-inch ones are mixed with the 12-inch ones. Yeah. And then once in a while, a 10-inch one. Yeah. Um, and so forth. So, yeah. Well, why don't but we? I, I was going to. Lots and lots and lots. I was going to bring them up front, but how about we go back to the other piece in the corner okay. that you had showed me? Okay. Okay, so let's let's show them a little surprise. We'll give them just a little pop of fun surprise. Yeah. Okay. So this, we'll get a look at it as is. Since, Tell us I, about it. since I love globes, yeah. um, and I'm always buying globes, once in a while I come across one that you don't do anything 
to because it's right. too special. Right, right. This one is too special. This is a glass globe. This. Um, it's from late 50s, early 60s, and it's actually glass. The globe itself is actually glass. And it's black, um, which I love also, but you want me to turn it on? And wait, show wait. The, <laughs> the suspense, the countdown. Three, two, one. Look! Ah, <gasps> oh, this. There aren't too many of these left, I don't think. Uh, I, I, this is only the second time I've ever had one. But yeah. This is something I was like, I, I'm not going to do anything to that. It's just right. what it is, and it's lovely. Right. And, and spin and show them where you said that, where it's got some little bit of wear, where you can actually see the glass globe itself. Yeah. Like, look. Yeah. Look. That's just where the. I didn't even the know they made glass off. globes. Yep. Yep. They do. And what, how old did you say it was? I think 1956, somewhere. Yeah. Uh, 1956 to like 1963. Wow. I haven't been able to date it exactly, but it's yeah. somewhere, somewhere in there. So nice and old. And That's lovely. amazing. And then I remember seeing these two. Yeah. The letter books. Yeah. That's just another one of those. I actually have someone else cut these. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, it so works with what I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. Books and that aren't being used anymore and so right. we cut them up and and people like to spell their names or sure. their initials or whatever yeah so let's talk. now these i'm just freaking you know i've been seeing I, we took the picture and i've been looking at them and just now am i realizing what they are, they are. so <laughs> old commercial mixer right equipment yeah um so this would be the whisk um from the big commercial mixers. This is the paddle. Right. So this would be like for cake mix or whatever. Right. And then also, um, this lamp oh, right over here. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. <gasps> I was That's wondering. The book from the same. Look. But isn't it sculptural? I, like, you wouldn't even guess, but how fantastic is that? <laughs> it's so artful. Like, it's. I mean, to it think has, that it came from... It's good movement. It really... Yeah. And I'm sure that the person... And then look at all the different sizes. It, yeah. Flip over in their grave. Right. <laughs> or be blown away. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> when you talk about, like, repurposing, like, who would ever think to do that, you yeah. know? Yeah. And even these, like, these are fantastic. They're so... People. And then especially with the fun bulbs inside them, too. Yeah. And I love them clustered together. Yeah. That's really fun. Well, let's, um, and then this was just a little thing that you were showing me that I was curious about. Yeah. I guess just the idea of, um, I don't know, just the creativity that's stirred up when you it's find, absolutely. you know. When you find something cool looking yeah. and you can find it in bulk, yeah. um, I know that there is, sometimes when I buy something, yeah. it's because it's a cool shape. Yeah. Or just a cool look, and I don't know yet what I'm going to do with it. Yeah. And so I went to a sale at a factory. They were selling equipment and like drawers and tables and all that kind of stuff. And it was a clock factory. Yeah. And so um, they had these, and I was like, there's something cool in that. Something really what, cool about even them. Even if it's just something easy like like a table decoration with a plate on it. Or, right. Um, That's what you're saying, or, like a charger at a dinner even, party. Or even just a set of three of these in a different size hung on the wall. Right. That's a cool, right. uh, you know. Yeah. It just brings in some cool factor. I love those. And it's what something else? other than they were originally purposed for. Right, so, right, exactly. I so do. just like these two, just. Yeah. These were... Um, survey sticks yeah. from surveyors then when they look through the scope yeah on the one end and they're looking at the stick and it's expandable yeah and the other guy at the other end is holding up the stick that's what those are and i don't think they make wood ones anymore so okay these are really old yeah um and i do have to tell you about this oh sure over here. yeah so these um tank lamps that i make out of old oxygen cylinders or welding tanks or whatever wow. this one specifically is from the second world war and you can see all the scarring on no the tank kidding itself. um and so this is really really old this is dated the last pressure test that was done on this that passed was in 1944 mm -hmm. um it's u.s navy okay and it has an anchor stamp on it also 
So, I mean, to look wow. at this and go, yeah. this is a lamp now, but right. But during the Second World War, this was somewhere on a ship. That's amazing. The world, you know? I think that's really cool. A conversation piece, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Let's just go up front there, too. I'm like, I could, I could spend hours here. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. let's look at these here. Okay, those are turbine vents. Uh, a lot of people call them whirly birds. But okay. These would be a vent like on top of a barn or a house or yeah. a chicken house or whatever. I love these lights. And they lights. make really, really nice lights. I, I feel like they have good movement. They you know, do. Just, and like, the way the light cuts through and kind of bends of it in a yeah. different direction, yeah. sort of. Yeah. So I was kind of looking for the Scrabble pieces. They're all gone. They're all gone. <laughs> I brought oh, this Yeah, time, yeah. And But it's something that I do. I mean, I've, I've made those for years as well. Yeah. And they say things all through them, really positive phrases and, yeah. and bits of faith. And, I and, saw I saw a few things you'd... <laughs> I love that. And so forth. Yeah. Um, and little hidden messages. still one here by now. But, yeah. Um, but I brought three and they also... And they're all gone. One. Oh, next time. okay. Uh, yeah. And if they follow you, they can awesome. see I was watching on social media, some of your posts with yeah. them before they left. Yeah. So let's just hit, hit the lights up front there because okay. I love these too. And I love the tones that they, yeah. you know, the whole um, toning behind them. These are a, a mesh screen, and, okay. but they're, they're hard. They're yep. durable. They're not like screen like you would put in your window, but yeah. um, this material actually comes from the Nestle company. Um, the plate, I buy it from a salvage company, but okay. I questioned them about it to ask them, do you know what this is? And it's some kind of a screen mesh that they mash grain through. And, um, it, it, it's in these big trays that are two feet deep, yeah. four feet wide. Okay. Um, kind of a little bit of a half circle and they use an auger to press grain through it. And so when... When they swap the trays out, which they have to do every so often, yeah, they sell the the salvage to a salvage company, and then I buy it from the salvage company, and uh, I have to wash it thoroughly. <laughs> right, it has some smells associated. Oh no! With it. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Then I just bend it into a circle and, yeah. and have it welded together, and then turn it into a pendant light. Love but that. But it has a lovely look because it there's really does there, yeah and then there are shiny spots yeah and so forth and again i'm not i don't do something to manipulate the way it looks right just however it is and that's i, I think I what yeah it yeah to, to arrest it where it is but but i think they they're good mood you know they, they definitely they are yeah and they set the tone for I'll just pan back so they can see the magic of what it looks like when you walk by. So it's definitely inviting. And when they, and just so you can see where he is. Oh, it actually is really beautifully twinkle lit <laughs> tonight. So nice. Ah, oh, well, let's, um, let's say thank you. Thank you Tony. very much. What a fun visit thank and you. everything so fascinating and wonderful. So find him. We'll put the links and definitely come and see Tony here at Zap Hall. Um, not too far from Royer's, really close to the road to wander on in and find him and you'll enjoy your time a lot. So Thank we'll say that. bye for now. Shanna shop glorious day and Tony at rest in peace. Yeah. Bye Bless for now. You. <laughs> bye for now. See ya.